All right, guys, so how can you get so lucky? Two washing chats back to back. I don't think it can get any better. I know a lot of you like the whole washing of cars, me talking, updating, so this is gonna be a good one. So we've had, again, quite a lot of people ask, can you do um, a timeline of events of 2021? So kind of like a year in review. This car needs washing, so I've been down up, up and down the M1 quite a few times, so it's filthy. So why not wash this, give you a year in, re uh, in review, and also update you some things as we're closing out. Obviously, it's Christmas Eve right now. Um, still quite a few people about, but still, yeah, it's, it's Christmas Eve. It's freezing. It's minus two, as you can see, I'm rubbing my hands, freezing. Um, so obviously, as you can tell, I'm a workaholic. Uh, Christmas Eve, still washing cars my cars though but still um, and then I'm going to update you some things that are going to probably happen in the first quarter of the year so let's get a crack in oh and as you can tell I'm on my wonderful Viper chair yeah so this is um this is really badly covered in salt must have done a couple thousand miles in a very short space of time so this time I'm going to use my wheels on this just to give it a bit of a boost in the cleaning ability just a little bit, just to see if there's anything I'm being, being picked up on the roads. My still in development foam cannon soap, so I've just topped this up. So a year in review is quite a good idea, um, why the hell not? Might as well talk, a lot has happened, both good and bad, I'm gonna talk you through it. However long this takes, it takes. So, um, obviously, January 2021, something happened that I never ever thought I would have to speak about obviously um kelly's mum passed from the worst type of circumstances it hit us bad because obviously she was a, a member of the team she was our little packer and organizer of say kind of accessory lines or the glass plus was her kind of packing and labeling it and all this because she's really kind of meticulous so and because the hand labeled bottles those are the only hand labeled things that we do um so she was doing all that and just kind of a general supporting arm of the business now it it it, it hit kelly really really bad uh it's obviously, it's still hitting the bad, obviously at this time now, it's almost coming up to a year in, kind of like a year anniversary. And um, yeah, her mum was her, the bestest friend you can ever imagine anyone to have. That was Leslie. And obviously if, if you've got eagle eyes, you'll see that the number plate on the Lupo GTI is um, Leslie Yum. So that was um, a dedicated play to her. So yeah, it was it was just completely tragic. Um, obviously, bless Kelly, did not take a single single day off uh, because obviously I was kind of under a lot of under a lot of strain myself. So um, we just couldn't afford to lose any people. Obviously, I said, please, you know, it's one of these things that happens. Well once in a lifetime firstly but you wish it never happens for a very long time um so still really young 59 year old if you think about it so bless her she didn't take any time off not a single day not a single hour she you know absolutely smashed it um just working like a soldier really so that was January. It took us a few months to obviously kind of get back to some sort of normality, if, if you can call it that. Obviously, at the time, thank you to all the people who, you know, brought us flowers and 
the kind of messages and stuff like that. Um, so going into like February, March, April time, um, we were just kind of operating as normal. Quite a lot of research and development um, was still going on. Obviously, we we also brought out kind of the the ultimate side of the packages for the Kranzel. Obviously, that was a long, long development that kind of takes as long as it has to take. The manufacturing, obviously, we all know what's happening with the manufacturing side right now. The manufacturing took its its own fair kind of share of time. I will I will get onto this and a few of the bits, obviously, as I progress through the months. The ultimate packages um, were launched in the first, I would say, quarter of the year. At this point, um, if you all remember, um, for the people who really watch us close, um, we had a huge, it wasn't just us, it was everybody worldwide, but we had a huge demand and then a supply issue with the cold Kranzel situation. So we, um, we at one point had um, anywhere up to 50 Kranzels going on back order. But what Kranzel UK were doing is they couldn't guarantee, obviously it's not their fault, they couldn't guarantee what was on their kind of container shipment. So every time a shipment came in, they would say, well, it was the, um, the K7s came in, but no 1122s. K10s came in, no 1122s. So because we currently only deal with the one for a very specific reason, like I think we were eight shipments in from Germany and not a single 1122. So obviously that caused a huge backlog. Um, obviously the back order system is a, is a really good way of doing it, how we do it. It secures your spot whilst also even as a, um, a very accurate kind of first come first serve kind of system because the people, there were a few people who waited, so oh, I'm going to wait until next month, no, wait until next month. And it went on for almost a year where they kept coming in or ringing us, you know, uh, the people who were local and saying, well, can I buy one now? No, because it was first come first served at the time. So it was, it was quite a sticky situation when it came to the Kranzels in the first quarter. Now is the camera picking that up? I'm, so I've had a very kind of, um, a very neat formula, high pH wheel soap on the tires and then agitated it with again, our very um, now almost famous undress. Now look at the way that tire is still beating. There's a very clear line of where obviously the water's flat. It's like camera should be able to pick that up but honestly what a product Whew. now while I'm cleaning the wheels obviously it's going to help the fact that the wheel kind of the wheel soap is going to work the archers just as much as it's working obviously the the barrels and the faces of the wheel anyway so that was the kind of situation we were just starting to go into spring um, of last year, um, obviously, so I've got, I've got my, um, not last year, I'm sorry, this year, obviously you saw that I got my kind of foam cannons in as well, so that was kind of a big deal for us um, to have somebody on the scale of MTM US to give us that exclusive contract for those items that are made to order for them and also obviously now made to order for us in the UK and Europe so that was a big thing because obviously the the PF22.2 
is because um, the Americans have developed that kind of kit, like, you know, the kitted system. Um, so that was like a huge, huge thing for us um, because I know for a fact that there's a lot of people still after this, even to kind of, even to this day, we get a lot of email forwarded from the States for people asking for uh, distribution, but they wouldn't come to us, which again, you know, it is what it is, but um, it's just interesting to see. So yeah, MTM, obviously SGS 28, stuff like that. Obviously I customize the guns anyway. So uh, the standard SGS 28 is a great gun. Don't get me wrong. It's a really, really great gun, but you know, for the person who, who kind of says, look, I want the best gun kind of on the market with the best fittings. That's the most important thing because the gun body hasn't changed. So when I customize the guns, I kind of, when I go to my development sphere, let's call it, um, I, this is where, you know, I really shine and I kind of, I never go in with a price ever. Um, which actually it's a dangerous thing to say on camera because if any of the factories are watching this, they'll be like, right, we're going to double the price and I'll still pay it. I probably will as well. So, but yeah, like I went in with the whole, this was like in springtime. I went in with the whole kind of um, attitude with the fittings. Like if they're going to cost me a pound, great, 10 pound, great, 20 pound. Don't, I don't really care. Um, so like the, like the T3 or four quarter inch couplers, they are an actual, actual astronomical price at cost. In fact, most, in fact, all the fittings, all the fittings that are existing in the world at that size, bar from this factory, don't even retail as high as the cost price. Which again, some people say, well, you're stupid because a fitting is a fitting. Well, yes and no. So of course, obviously, um, that was a big thing for me to actually manage to secure a contract for not only a very, very world exclusive item, but then to go and get probably the best fitting factory and the best fitting country on our side to go and then make something that is just an unbelievable gun. Obviously version three of those guns from both the same companies, I'm not changing the companies, um, uh, the version three guns will at some point be again live. There's just small tweaks, you know, I mean, you, you can't really go and make something that's 90% good already into, you know, like a million, like it doesn't work like that. So whenever the tweaks come, they're always in the little 5%, 10%. So that was great. Um, obviously going into the summer, we had all these lockdowns. And, you know, I, w I won't go into it, but that threw, that threw was a massive kind of curveball because, so for example, like our, our triggers are Italian made in Italy and the, and the whole production kind of side from January to January of next year is taken up already because these triggers are extremely popular in Europe not as popular in the UK actually, which is interesting, but still a few people use them, but um, yeah, like in, in Europe apparently, like they're really popular. So that threw us a curveball because the Italians were like not giving us anything. And it, so we had probably, I don't know, 15, maybe 25,000 triggers, which, which sounds a lot and it is a lot, However, you know, when, you know, you're pumping anywhere between like five to 6,000, maybe even more sometimes, it depends on what's happening on that month. Five, six, 7,000 triggers a month, that supply all of a sudden looks quite scarce. So we kind of like piece together, obviously the Italians, because we are their very good customers, they try to help us. So they said, well, you know, if you go to kind of this importer, in France, for example, we trust them and we make for them. Or if you go to this one in Germany, England, all that sort of stuff. So we were piecing together, like it was, it was almost like a hatch job, but through none of our kind of, um, 
or it was out of our control. So we were piecing together the trigger that we anyway get. But as you can imagine, you buy 3,000 triggers from England and then you go and piece together 9,000 triggers from Germany. They all have one different costs, even though it's the same thing, and then definitely a different shipping cost. Um, so it was it was a bit of a nightmare early spring going into kind of well early spring late spring into early summer i had to <laughs> i had to run uh, next door where we've got i think the room temperature about 30 celsius to just to warm up and defreeze almost because <laughs> i almost died on the last wheel So the MTM stuff was good, parts are good, um, and obviously we we started heading into the early summer, where obviously we normally see a little bit of a slump because of people going away on holiday, stuff like that. But that is a yearly thing for me. Um, I don't really sweat it. And when I say a slump, I'm talking, I don't know, 15% kind of down on the normal monthly things. Um, because it's 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 actually weird because when i first started this i thought the summer was the peak season actually it's not um any well we don't really like you know some some industries let's say like the hospitality industry will see a massive slump and i mean like 90 percent down so it's when i say a slump i don't mean like we have we we'll go from you know like 100 orders a day to like four orders a day but still, you know, you could see that people are going away on holiday. People are with their kids because of this kind of like the summer holidays and stuff. So because of that time, obviously, the weather's usually in the UK. You've got the, the best chance of getting some warm weather, even if it's like a little bit overcast, a bit like this. But it's the best chance for me to actually do a lot of kind of... Um, filming especially late at night because it's it stays light and up until what's what's the longest kind of days at half 10 at night so like in the summer i was actually pursuing projects which are still like if you think about it months and months on those projects are nowhere near completion and i'm testing either new variants new variants of existing products as always see if I can improve it at the current given time or I'm testing something completely kind of new and fresh and innovative so it, it allows me to chase my deeper projects you know something that I may have been able to kind of put off in the past um, so um, obviously at the current time you're going to probably be sick of me saying this but um, <laughs> some stuff I just cannot develop because of the supply and demand curve like I keep saying so there's like things like I want to do right now it's it's late December I've, I've got a good friend of mine coming down or apparently coming down um, to install my wall pressure washer whole kind of build out I've been acquiring pieces for months and I mean months and still one of the main pieces I haven't got because of the whole supply and demand kind of issue so oh and by the way that's going to be that's going to be absolutely awesome what I'm building so I've been piecing it together from my most trusted companies um, and I'm going to obviously I'm going to do a, a test build first here see if I like it uh, because you know I'm not even sure yet and then if I do like it you know what's coming next you're going to get it so obviously the whole December thing is not going to be um, kind of accessible to me because as I, as I said some parts are just physically they cannot be made and if they can be made 
there is a huge backlog of people, probably even before me, who've wasted six, nine, ten months, who um, who are kind of more important to me because they're like a first come, first serve kind of basis. There's too many people out on Christmas Eve. Too many. Um, TNT, I don't know what they're doing here. Um, so, summer was good and then obviously towards when we started to get into August I started um, really preparing for Black Friday like I said to you on my previous wash and chat we started in February in terms of oh it's a new little holder yeah nice um, yeah so like I said we're doing it in February but still when it comes to August time you've got now it's in terms in the retail world anyway august to november is a blink away so we started really stockpiling cardboard boxes packing tape was reordered because it's kind of custom to us so you know it's not just an off-the-shelf item um so if you did see a shortage of certain size boxes in august slash september I played a part in that one. <laughs> we literally were taking pallets and pallets. Um, obviously, we were still using them every day, but um, we weren't doing like 8,000 orders a day. Not yet, anyway. So um, we were stockpiling that, or like kind of like the paper filling and anything custom. So like obviously Kelly's little creation of the of the limited edition boxes, which. Um, are so popular this year it's like really crazy but you know like because we pack everything here and obviously kelly takes um great pride in kind of like assembling the boxes and then putting in the special custom kind of fill all that sort of stuff so obviously we we had to buy that to order because we had actually had if if you received the box with a gold um it matches our gold so it was like a custom order that had to die the the, the paper loose fill, whatever, the shreddings, um, custom to our colour, which is quite cool when you think about it, but also we had to wait a few months for that one. I'm officially done in freezing, nose running like a little baby, but we we'll get to watch some very cool cars. Oh, so the Black Friday preparations go in September, um, obviously hit people went back to school or the kids went back to school um, and obviously normal people kind of went back to work and again we started to see this massive rise this is like our time now um, our main batting ground September all the way up to about now I just had a guy walk past there look at me like I'm a mental patient talking to myself <laughs> I don't think he saw the camera, or if he did see the camera, he's thinking, why is he talking to a camera to himself? Um, yeah, so it was like our main season's coming in, and I wouldn't say it's like our main season. It's, I think it's just a retail thing, you know, Christmas is just around the corner. Um, a lot of people um, are kind of buying gifts, all that sort of stuff. So um, between those months, um, we were we were looking to launch obviously a new product, which you obviously know is the Unwash MF, and we've had nothing but trouble with that. Obviously, the formula kept failing because it's so strong. The bottles, we didn't want to go with a traditional bottle. Uh, we wanted to do it something different. So obviously, the supply chain again, um, the people who are our manufacturers, Apparently somebody died at their factory, so the whole thing was stopped, we couldn't get any bottles. But then when we did, our labels weren't right. So it literally, we went to the label people and we had to pay for a kind of like a special designing arm of their studio to do us, as if anyone's bought that bottle, you see it's a completely bespoke label. So um, that was um, a huge nightmare for us, uh, which is not normally the way it is if we kind of do it with you know, our bottles, which we buy, you know, in 20, 25,000, you know, one issue is already taken out. Whereas with this, we literally started from the start, you know, a bespoke formula, bespoke bottle, bespoke label. So literally it was um, 
it was a, <laughs> a complete learning curve for us uh, with regards to this new product. And obviously Black Friday. Black Friday hit. I am not going to mention a single word about it. I did a, a dedicated wash and chat um, a few days back about it. So if you haven't watched it, literally look at the video before this video and you'll see what I talked about. Um, an amazing time for us. And obviously we are now in December. Um, a lot of people, you see, oh, we're winding down. A lot of people are doing Christmas sales. We're doing zero sales. Um, and, and trust me, we are not winding down. The people who have been on the phone to me um, will see that I'm currently inaccessible, right? There's no chance. Oh, can you do me this favor? Nope, 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 nope. So um, you're probably laughing if, if, if you have got my personal number and you've asked for the favors, you know exactly what I'm talking about. I'm running around like a absolute lunatic on a mission um, and obviously I'm trying to capture as much of this wash and chat as I can before the light starts dropping because currently we have about, what, three hours left, if I'm lucky. So yeah, it's, um, I am definitely not winding down. I'm, I am working all the way up and I'm going to probably work late tonight. Um, I think obviously Christmas. I'm going to go and see my mum and dad with Kelly. Uh, with my dog, Jeff. Can you believe I call the dog Jeff? And then literally, I think I'm getting 48 hours off. I'm literally um, having that off. I'm coming back here and I am straight on. I'm going to, I'm going to use this brush for this wheel. I'm literally going straight back on it. I'm not, it's not, I wouldn't say it's work what I'm exploring next. You will see next year what's happening. Um, what I'm doing is I'm, I'm exploring a few new directions and it's really, it's not a job for me. It's, as you know, this in general is not a job or like the other part that I want to learn. Again, I'm a complete novice in some areas. So I am going to obviously seek expert advice from people who are experts in their own fields of course, I'm going to film all of this. So as a byproduct, my entire goal of next year and, and in general, but next year, moving into something that I've never done before. Um, and by the way, this is not business related. This is just going to be stuff that I'm going to be filming that is irrespective to um, kind of us. Um, and obviously, uh, as a byproduct, what you're going to see is you're going to get a, um, an absolute amazing amount of content that is one going to be up for life which basically means you know if you want to learn hopefully i'm going to eventually start to uh, dominate those specific searches and it's going to help the younger generation uh, because i don't know and i mean you know i'm i'm still very very young technically and it's helping me so imagine 17, 18 year old, you know, who um, obviously not there for, but may not know as much. So because they're, you know, just starting their life. So it's going to be like a really cool thing. I'm going to come back for it um, fairly early. My parents understand, uh, as I said on the previous video as well, they are involved in the business. They know, they know what goes on behind the scenes more than probably anybody else. So um, 48 hours for Christmas. I'm not celebrating New Year. As I said, when I was doing the assembly of this uh, Viper chair, I don't drink. I don't, <laughs> yeah, I, I don't go out partying. My single most vested interest is exactly what I'm doing now. I couldn't imagine spending anything else, wasting my time. Um, so yeah, there's going to be no New Year celebrations. We're not going out. We're literally going to go. Probably have, I'm, I'm going to try and cook Kelly a meal without burning the house down. Um, have an early night for New Year's Eve and New Year's Day, boom, straight back into it. Some people call it boring. I call it perfection. Right, so I've done a slightly kind of different method. Um, as you can tell, I am extremely badly suffering at the minute with this minus two temperature. So I rinsed the vehicle, 
Uh, I did a citrus treatment, rinsed it again, and now I'm gonna do a foam. I found my um, seal skin gloves. As you can see, these are, God, 10 years old now, I think. Um, I wore these in Afghanistan, so in the northern provinces where it was a lot colder than this. So it's gonna help me a little bit, but it's not a complete solution. So yeah, these have lasted me such a long time. So again, 150 mils of uh, my foam through the ultimate gun. And then we're gonna go obviously into the contact wash. I'm gonna try and skip a few steps, you know, Obviously, you might see me rinse the foam off a hundred times, so I'm just gonna foam it a little bit, and then we're just gonna film the most important bits. So I skipped the rinse and step off the foam because there was just no need for it. So I've got boiling hot water. <laughs> Should keep my hands warm. <laughs> Wonderful. Okay, so, um, where did I finish, obviously? new stuff in the new year obviously as i said we're not doing much over the christmas period apart from trying to think our way and strategize our way into building just a huge empire so that's pretty much it i mean i've cut i've cut quite a lot out of this I, um, I underestimated the cold, if I'm completely honest. Um, I thought I could bear it a bit more, but seriously, I think it's starting to drop in temperature more than anything. So, yeah, I mean, there was a lot more that's happened. I mean, a lot more. I'm gonna try and maybe do a podcast. It was before the new year, a live podcast to get you guys obviously engaging and stuff. And obviously I'm gonna try and do a, a live version of, of a, obviously summarizing the year as well this time i'm going to be in my heated room so i can go into as much detail as i want really there um, and because it's a podcast timings are almost unlimited on it whereas obviously i can't wash a car for like three hours potentially but that's pretty much it for now but what I'm going to talk about as well, some very interesting developments. Like I said, I'm going to touch on what was in the bucket as well. So we've got, as you know, um, our microfiber line is arriving into the new... Well, it's going to be in between, I think, in between Christmas and New Year. It's going to arrive, but by the time customs clear it and all that, it's probably going to be in week one three of January so obviously that's going to be the new microfiber line also within the microfiber line there's going to be something cool new little accessory as well which is going to launch um, simultaneously with the microfiber so that's going to be quite cool um, and also a couple of weeks ago, I went to go and see my good friend, John. So he came here probably in the summer time. And I've always promised that I'm gonna go back to come see him. So I went down on a Sunday. You may have seen a few stories if you follow me on Instagram. Uh, so I went down and we talked some business amongst other things, which was very, <laughs> eye-opening let's call it but anyway regards the business side 90 99 chance the viper chairs are coming here right so obviously nothing's ever guaranteed until it's in your hand the supply issue might happen i, I don't know the wheel might just completely implode but as it stands 99 percent chance that the vipers are coming here so if you are interested regards the Viper chairs. 
start saving your pennies seriously it's the best four five five hundred and fifty quid that you're ever gonna spend and I mean ever so start saving that it's gonna be amazing literally I'm so <laughs> I'm so excited those Viper chairs are like really exclusive really hard to get a hold of and um, obviously because they're all handmade in the States you know the drill it's going to be expensive but it's literally the best chair for the garage that's currently available on the planet so hopefully my 99% thing comes to fruition I think it will obviously that's why I'm saying it to you if I was really unsure it probably, you know, I wouldn't say anything until I had a bit more of a, a concrete thing. So that's going to be a really kind of awesome addition here. So please, I know a lot of people have already kind of uh, messaged me about it, interested. So this is kind of the first official public service announcement. They are coming here. Um, start saving up. It literally, it's the best investment. Um, so that's one thing we talked about. Uh, gonna be really cool, really niche, but that's where, literally that's where I outshine everyone in the super niche kind of subject matters. Uh, so they're gonna come here probably January, early February time. And then we've got the new brushes. You've seen the red brushes. They'll be coming as well. Um, I'm placing the order in January as well, so they are manufactured from 0 to 10 basically, or 0 to 100 in the US, very high quality, again, are they, is it the cheapest brush? No. Is it probably the most expensive detailing brush you've got? Yes. Uh, but the quality obviously I always, I always say this, because you pay a certain price, there is a quality to, or a quality aspect to back it up. So we've got a few wheel, obviously, accessories incoming as well. Keep your eyes peeled for that. Um, shipping takes so long. The manufacturing, the development takes so long. But again, I believe everything good and everything wholesome really takes the right amount of time in this case it took us well over a year um so the, the brushes are, are getting up, updated um how brushes are fantastic but again i found the next 10 percent so yeah i love looking for these ultra ultra niche kind of um upgrades so mike Fraber towels Oh, the microfiber package, you know, the huge package, it's incoming. Something else, I won't say what it is, but I think you can guess what it is. That's going to come simultaneously with the towels on the launch day. Brushes, vipers, ta! Yes, and we've got some pressure washing developments, which I'm not going to talk about now, but all I'm saying is, coming into springtime, so on the tail end of winter, I'm telling you, We've worked tirelessly for this one. It has cost me quite a lot of money. A lot of money, basically. It cost me an astronomical amount of money. Um, and I'm not gonna say what it is because I know all the wrong people are watching me also. And I, the main reason I'm not saying anything is because I wanna keep this as a surprise. I think it's gonna really certifiers as probably the in the top two in the top two companies in the world me here uk and europe specifically um as the people who really have the the gold standard and pressure washing it well pressure washers and pressure washing accessories it's the gold standard, I like that word. Um, so I've worked hard for this and it's coming probably three, four months out yet. It's, 
I think it's been it's it's in manufacture as we speak so it's <laughs> there's no going back and this specific development is going to be on the back of the development that I told you about in my previous uh, wash and chat which I will reveal in time because I can't yet because I'm not certain it's happening I always do these bits last because it's going straight into the washing machine yeah because I don't know that it's happening so I, I don't want to say something is and then you know something kind of falls through but the whole pressure washing side it's happening in conjunction it'll make sense when you see it and exactly who's behind it um, but it's happening in conjunction with um, many different rotating plates here or many different rotating stories uh, but I'm so excited for it it's just gonna I've put in I've put a claim to something that is going to be very obvious what it is and it's just great so we've got so much new stuff it's all quite actually accessory line based um, we've got obviously probably around two maybe three products in the first half of 2022 if they pass the volatility testing I yet cannot tell you I cannot see the future and I really don't know how the formula is going to react to our really harsh kind of testing uv chambers all that sort of stuff um, acceleration chambers well hopefully two definitely two if they pass maybe a third one because that's at the minute throw me very early curveballs um but then yeah we'll see right i think the whole car's done so what i'm going to do i'm going to rinse this off camera i'm going to get this car in as fast as i can because literally my nose is about to fall off my fingers aren't yet too bad because i've had hot water on them but in about 30 seconds they're going to start falling off and my toes i think my toes have already fallen off so i'm gonna i'm gonna get this car inside and we'll and we'll continue oh, so my favorite bit one of my favorite bits let me rephrase that um is about to come so again this product everybody's familiar with it so it's warm here now i can actually speak a little bit better so this is going to be um one of my new towels oh, i can't wait so where was i i was talking about vipers brushes towels all that sort of kind of good stuff um yeah the first the first quarter of the 2022 year i think it's going to be it, it's going to be amazing it's there's so much development happening if 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 somebody told me like a time traveler if a time traveler told me nick kelly you're gonna have x year you know i would i would laugh i would say no nah, it's it's impossible so we've we've been blessed to um be associated with some really nice people you know um oh by the way i've just noticed i've got <laughs> i've got different trainers on so if you think what's he doing so these are my unit specific trainers i don't wear these really outside i certainly don't do any car washing in them they are too nice so i keep but people think what the hell is he on about so i keep a set of trainers in here that only see kind of the dry weather if it's outside and certainly no car washing weather uh yeah so these are my unit based trainers if you call it <laughs> unit based so yeah i mean we've just been blessed with some really nice people that take us for who we are which is just honest hard-working people we 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 don't mess around we don't play the game some other people let's say play and we just have you know a very good honest business um amongst everything that we do but yeah that's pretty much the year in review guys um 
as I said, I could have involved a lot more things. Which I chose to, let's say, omit from the video uh, because Yeah, I just haven't got enough time on this video to kind of talk about everything because we'd be here for at least an eight hour video. So, as I said, keep your eyes peeled. I'm going to try my very best to try and give you a live podcast pre, pre New Year's Eve almost um, and kind of catch up with you there because I know a lot of people watch these either as soon as they come out or obviously in the next couple of days, that's when the videos kind of trend the most. Uh, and, and it's the same with the podcasts. So if, if you are able to catch me live, please join. Um, we can have, you know, some good wholehearted kind of conversation. You can, as, as always, ask me whatever you want. I'm gonna just ramble on about the usual things that are I ramble on but yeah, thank you for always listening to me and kind of throwing back some curveball questions it always helps this drying it i'm telling you is next level look at that whoa a bit too fast there so just to wrap this video up um guys i hope right now at the time of this video will be christmas I hope you're having a nice big meal. You are with your loved ones, whether it be family, your wife, your husband's family, wife's family, it doesn't really matter. I um, hope you've had a massive meal. <laughs> you've had some laughs with your family. It's the most important thing. It's um, with everything that, that that's happening currently and what's about to happen, let's just say. Um, just, just love everybody, that's what I say. Just be nice to everybody. It, co it costs nothing to be nice. So yeah, just maybe for some people, your New Year's resolution is just be nice. Um, but like I said, I hope you've eaten a lot of food. If you're that way inclined, hope you've drank a lot. Um, and obviously you'll probably be watching this video at night or evening time, afternoon time, um, with a full stomach and hopefully a smile on your face. Um, I, I will be with my mom and dad, obviously with Kelly, with my dogs. Um, yeah, I'm going to be my little element in my little bubble. So I'm going to enjoy that too. Um, just two or three, well, probably two days off um, throughout the whole year. And yeah, guys, this is, um, this, is this year has been, um, apart from the one major incident that we had at the start of the year, um, this year for us has been really good, really good, both uh, meeting new people, making new business inroads, making new business friends, I now call them friends. And um, there's, there's a handful of people that we speak to, you know, pretty much on a daily basis and they're part of our family and we're part of their family. So um, yeah, it's been really good for us. We've again, learned a lot. I always say this, you know, um, don't fall back, fall forward. We fell forward a lot this year in a good way. Um, and we've obviously, st we're starting to realize just where this thing can go potentially. It's, it's almost like a plant, you know that analogy, you water the plant enough, it's soon going to start growing and it's soon going to become a huge, huge kind of um, undestructible oak tree almost. So, um, you know, this year has given us a taste. Again, I expect nothing less. Let's be honest, I'm, I'm super confident in um, all of our kind of abilities and where we're going, but nothing is ever guaranteed, of course, but it's given us a taste. So, um, yeah, 
just a, a huge thank you um, for everybody who's placed a £10 order or a, a £2,000 order. Um, it's, it's just a huge support. So thank you for obviously everybody who watches this video and all the previous videos and everybody who's a member as well. So thank you so much um, for the people who are constantly becoming members. I appreciate the support. Hope you're enjoying those type of videos. Uh, the, the new year is going to have a few nice surprises on that platform as well. So um, um, if you are considering it, um, the new year is going to be um, obviously new website, new platform for the membership. And it's going to be super cool for you guys. So um, in all, everybody who has had any part in, in the growth of this year, whether it be video views, comments, orders, um, even just a guy coming in here and gives us a handshake. Uh, honestly, I really appreciate it. So hope you have a great Christmas. Hope you have a great New Year's. I may have another video for you. Um, be safe. Don't do anything silly. Um, and I will catch you on the flip side of 2022. Have a good one, guys.